Hi guys, this is Lumi and Finistra, and tonight I wanted to just um, give my opinion on the people who have been sabotaging Michelle's shows with their impolite talk. Um, I have to tell you, I, I think it's disgusting because it's like, whoa. You should be congratulation. You should be extremely excited to know that Michelle is now is bringing home a small little additional funding to help maintain the channel, and because now because she has some advertising revenue, um, she doesn't have to um, worry about suffering as much. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is is hey, I'd be proud. To see Michelle's channel continue to grow as it is. Okay? Really am. I really would like to see this channel continue to grow. My channel I haven't really done much with. And that's something I could work on too. Because, yeah, this channel needs to grow too. What are you doing? I'm just going to... I know Michelle's always doing something with electrical wiring. What are you trying to do? What's this one suit? Oh, the things are shortened. Well, are they? No. Okay, good. <laughs> um. Anyway, so... If you are upset because Michelle basically told you straight out that there's no longer going to be live shows at night, keep this in mind. It's because of your companions, if you will, your co-patriots, your fellow humans who have soured the milk um, from Michelle to do night shows. Michelle did night shows six days a week. She loved what she did. She put them out every day. But as we all found out, last night's show was not where Michelle wanted to be. So after the show was over, she erased it. She said, screw it. This isn't what I want. I don't want even want people to ever remember the show. I just wanted to die in the, in the swamp of obsolescence and mediocrity. Because it's not what I wanted. Okay, so maybe some of you guys may not like that. Well, I can be rude about it and say something nasty. But I won't. I'll spare you. All right? Let me just keep it simple. If you're looking for a show where you can race bait, mock up or make fun of different racial profiled groups, Make fun of different species of people or animals. Basically discredit your neighbors and treat them like dirt. Go elsewhere. I don't want you on my channel either. If you're looking as a way to produce content that speaks out to you and says, hey, this is a good content. Let's let's see what let's see what Michelle's got to say. Let's see if we can get some good people to interact with Michelle. We know it's I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Michelle isn't easy to hear always easy to hear them. But the point is, is that Michelle loves you. Michelle loves doing these. But she wants to be respected. And she doesn't want to see people feel like they're being marginalized. Okay, so don't don't hold it against her for that. She's trying her best. And I, I give her credit for that. By the way, I'm just giving her credit also for the fact is that, yes, she and Ed are, you know, doing good together. All right? I'm happy about that because Michelle needs that third party in her life. She needs that third party. Okay? It gives her a sense of completion. And... 
And I think that's something that needs to be said about the fact is that Michelle's trying to do something with her life and trying to show the world, despite her knee injury, hey, I'm still walking, I'm still talking, I'm still doing things under my own power. I haven't, I haven't become the typical older person um, with disabilities going, well, gee, I can't do that anymore. I don't want, I can't walk like that anymore. I can't do whatever it was that you, she loved. She's getting out here every morning. She wakes up average, an average, around 8 o'clock in the morning. For two hours before she comes on, she's cleaning the house. Putting things away. Sorting things out. Then she has breakfast. And then she comes on the show at 10 o'clock. And she's with you guys for two hours, average, a day, on the weekdays. Now, if she's going to do it, I think she said she wants to do weekends a Saturday. Then she can be on the show for more than two hours a day. Because normally around 12 noon, she goes to the soup kitchen, picks up bag lunches, and brings them back here. So she has something to eat. Now, we all know that we're all waiting for the COVID-19 and so we can all go to the soup kitchen, right? Yes, we all know that. That's coming. It's going to come to an end. Sooner or later, COVID-19 is going to end like a wet firecracker. It's just going to go just like that. But until that time, People are going to have to understand that Michelle does love what she does. And is doing the best with what she can, within the ability she can. That says a lot. So now, where do we go from here? Well, seriously, let's look at this. Where do you want to go from here? For the troublemakers... That means for you, end of the road. It's over. I saw that some of the baddies were trying to take over the money stream. Over my fucking dead body. You're not taking over the money stream. Okay. You got that? You got that, punk? You got that? Good. Because I'm telling you right now, you screw up Michelle's morning stream, I am going to be more than pissed. All right? What do you got against Michelle so bad that you can't even work with her for five friggin' hours or five minutes or two hours a day? You pick on her because what? Oh, because she's a little bit unusual? Show me a one person in the world who's within the statistical normal. I haven't seen anyone. If you race baiters think you're normal... I got another word for you. You're totally living in a Dinosian uh, dream. A Dimosifian dream. You think you're normal, but you're not. Because at the same time, you think we are normal because we race bait and we hate this group or that group. That's not normal. That's bullshit. Okay. Do we understand each other? That's bullshit. That's not normal. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. Me and Michelle have worked really hard together to make a difference in the world. One person at a time. One small step at a time to give people a feeling that they're not alone. But for you troublemakers, we'll do the reverse. We'll cordon you off. We'll isolate you. We will cauterize you. You will be totally left to your own devices and your own demons on your own channels. And you will suffer. Okay? 
And if you cross me at all, I can assure you that I can make your life very unpleasant. Let's hope we don't get there. But for right now, for me and Michelle, we wanted to let you know that we, by the way, this is my first video on the porch on the new computer. And this is, I think I got it right here. Yeah. Okay. So this is all new to me. But just to let you know that I am, I am really happy that, you know, Michelle is achieving something with her life. You should be proud too. You should be proud too. Because now it proves a point that even if you're handicapped, you can still achieve those things that you want to do. That's right. All the things that you want to do, you can achieve. Damn the torpedoes. You can do it. And you don't even have to really do anything unusual or excessive. You just got to take that chance and say, I can't. Or I can give it a try. So what if you have to make some amount of accommodations because of your disabilities? That's okay. Have you ever noticed why there's not too many live streamers that are disabled, legally blind? Because so many times they can't read the chat on the screen. There was one, le one legally blind woman that was live streaming. She did like Michelle did. She puts the phone to her face while she's having her computer do the recording of the video. So she was reading the chat on her phone when the phone was recording the video. Oh, wow. That's something to think about. All right, guys. For now, see you soon. Okay? You have a nice day. Bye-bye, everybody.